So welcome students to one more session of your third chapter in your grade 11 syllabus. So I have already given introduction in the previous video, I have already given the index and I also asked you to maintain a separate book for world of chemistry, isn't it? Right. Till now I think we have completed five chapters. This is the sixth chapter which I am going to start. In this particular chapter, I will be discover or discussing about most of the reasoning questions based on your JD Lee book. JD Lee will be the concept book where I will be picking up all the questions. Right. So please follow me every day and keep noting the concepts. Now when I have to start about the introduction of the chapter after the index, let's see when were, when were the elements discovered. Basically this chapter is going to teach you about the discovery of elements. It's going to teach you in detail about the different uh, discoveries of every person. We will also be writing the definition of that. We will be writing the <coughs> examples like that. We will be dealing from Dobrina, Newman's, Chan Cortis. That also I will be dealing. That is called Chan Cortis. Chan Cortis, uh, this one, discovery. Then I will be going to Mendeleev. I will be going to, so okay, mostly after mostly is Mendeleev, modern periodic table. So let's start. So the first uh, uh, discovery or the uh, first element excavation or the discovery of the periodic table elements started in 1800 right so 1800 the amount of elements discovered is only 31 31 elements were discovered in 1800 later on when the in, uh, invention started uh, means uh, the improvement or the in inventions the intensity of the invention started increasing in 1899 almost 84 elements were discovered after that next again almost 100 years 100 <coughs> sorry 121 elements were discovered later later on when it reached to 2014 almost 144 elements were discovered so all these are the elements which were discovered in the periodic table later on after 2014 now we are in 2018 the amount of elements or in the periodic table which is prescribed almost we we keep writing 118 elements isn't it right fine so <coughs> the discovery went on like this now if i have to perfectly speak about the 1800 or a in this particular century the first or the most important discovery about the periodic table and the valid discovery which was given by Dobrina so 18 here I've divided the whole lesson board into a table a column first one would be year next one would be discoverer next one would be the name of the uh, table what was this discovery and what was this based on the concept so this particular table uh, gives you the complete information of the discovery part of the chapter right so what did we say 1800 we have started discovering the elements but the valid explanation was given in 1829 who has given that it was given by Dobrina uh, D-O-B-N-I in here in 1862 the next after this it was given by uh, Chan Kor after that in 1865 the next uh, chemist was given as the uh, valid means which has some um, what do you say proof for uh, explanation right so it was uh, given by Alexander New Newland Alexander Newland Alexander Newland done now Dobrina what did he discover so name of the table the table which he, or uh, we call that whenever the particular word the discovery of Dobrina we name it under we put it in inverted commas it's called a law of triads law of triads triads one set of three we will see what it is now when John Curtis what the table he has discovered he has discovered or he has shown us the arrangement of elements in the form of a spiral arrangement we'll be seeing that it is also called cylindrical or cylindrical or spiral arrangement of elements so it's a cylindrical or spiral arrangement of elements he arranged in that way and has explained us we will see what it is then 1865 Newland or Alexander Newland he has given us a tab tableau column the name of the table is called Newland octaves so this is cylindrical arrangement this is called capital letters I'm writing it is called Newland octaves octaves means first and the eighth element properties will be similar octa means eight that now here what was it based on what what is the main criteria on which his concept based so Dobrina when we speak about 
the law of triads he just spoke or he he started his concept based on the physical and chemical properties he said the first and the third element physical and chemical properties means he also said the when you take the first element and the third element atomic mass and take the average of that so the average of those two will be the atomic mass of the middle element so obviously when i speak he spoke basically about physical and chemical properties based on that and he also spoke about atomic weights only this concept was based on atomic weights that's it now when i come to <coughs> uh, cylindrical arrangement here also they spoke about atomic weights only now when it comes to newland octave he said the property of the first element or the physical properties of the first element uh, or the chemical properties will be similar to the eighth element so here he started speaking about physical as well as chemical properties so this is the criteria on which they have picked up let's come back and see next set of discoveries right after newland's octave stable next came into picture that is your mendeleev right <clears throat> so mendeleev has given us his periodic table or the assumptions based on the uh, discovery of the periodic table very important or the supporting system for the periodic table so mendeleev was the person and the table which we call it is as mendeleev's mendeleev's periodic table right so here after this came in 1913 the most important which we are using it now that was discovered by mosley right so mosley has given us the periodic table which we use it in every school every classroom rather so that's called modern periodic table so modern periodic table done so here based basically mendeleev has listed out or has given out so many uh, the sin what do you say definition as well as he's given as the assumptions what he has discovered but whatever he has done there were certain limitations which we'll be discussing so mendeleev whatever assumptions is given us they were based upon atomic weight only he tried to consider the uh, the concept based on atomic weight of elements right so that is the concept but when it come, came to a valid explanation was given by mostly that is in 1913 and it's called modern periodic table it was based on the concept of the periodicity dependent on atomic number remember earlier it was physical and chemical properties atomic weight but suddenly when it came to mostly a valid explanation everything was based on the physical and chemical properties had a periodicity means it dependent or it was dependent on atomic number only so remember first we took the discoveries but here i think please change this this is not 114 41 it is 114 only i'm sorry um yes this is 112 please correct this uh, students it is 112 and it is 114 only now it has become 118 so i'm sorry for this right so where whatever it is the discoveries it started in 1800 then 1899 1999 2014 to then we have seen first it was given by dobrina then gradually we went to chon cortes then after that we went to newlands octis exactly after five years was mendeleev's after that was mostly his discovery there were many scientists in between we'll be doing that as and when i do the chapter right this is your discovery students now let's come back and learn one after the other each discovery very clearly and we will understand with an example